Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? Um, we are back again with another video. I haven't been uploading um, a lot of videos when it comes to just talking about Roblox tutorials and everything. I've just been doing all those live streams and everything, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, feel free to join the Discord, it's in the description. Uh, if you haven't, feel free to join it because we do a lot of stuff on there. A lot of giveaways, events, and everything, just notifying you when I do stuff. Um, and feel free to subscribe. That just helps so much, you guys. Um, and just feel free to watch my videos, actually. I, I can't remember about watching the videos and subscribing, not gonna lie. It helps a lot. Um, and, uh, if you are wanting to join a group, feel free to join the group in the description. It's my, uh, Roblox group. And, uh, I'm gonna be doing all my, like, handouts through there. Like, I mean, not my giveaway handouts, but, like, most of my fans will be able to be ranked in there and stuff like that. So, it's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. So, let's talk about this real quick. If you are trying to do this and you are wanting to make a hold the door... There's a few things, first of all. This is using Proximity Beta, like Studio Beta. Um, so if you want to go and do that, you got to go to File, and it's going to be over here, and I think if I'm right, it's Beta Futures. Yep. And you're going to hit Enroll in Beta, and you're going to click all these, okay? Now, when you do that, it's going to be able to give you everything that's for the Beta uh, Roblox Studio people, and a lot of devs use this. And actually, the thing is, Proximity Prep was just added recently to um, games. So yes, you can use it in your game now. Um, but let me show you real quick how to use it. So there's a few things. Uh, what it's doing is what I made for you guys. Or I actually got help by this too. I forgot to tell you about that. Uh, I didn't actually just, well, I made it by myself. But then I had someone help me out and finish it. Um, so what it is is a clickable prompt. Uh, anything you can use on keyboard and mouse. And it actually works for like any types of sources like, uh, how can I say, um, Xbox and stuff. And uh, mobile. And it's already ready for that, so you don't even have to worry about scripting any of that. It works for all of those uh, uh, devices. And yeah, so what I'm doing is you're going to click E or you are gonna you can change that to whatever you want. And I'll show you how and everything. And it's going to be displaying another text that says extinguish, but it's going to be lighting it up. And then you're going to do it again, and it's going to be out. So and the same thing with this one. You have to hold it, of course. And um, it's going to start a fire. And all these do have sounds. I just... Uh, don't have my sound on right now because I don't have a song playing. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so that's like kind of what it's talking about right here is um, has the extinguish or light it up and they have their lights and everything. So it's pretty cool stuff, you guys. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with this. I wanted to give you guys this because anyone who was doing a tycoon or any game, literally any game, you can do stuff to this. Um, I might in my vibe game, I might actually do a little thing on light switches, but I can show you real quick if you were trying to do a light switch. It'd be pretty easy. So yeah. So let's get right into this. Um, there's a few things about this. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> um, so let's just go into this one real quick. This is pretty simple. Uh, if you go in the model, it's gonna say fire, and then the button. The button's gonna be in the top because that's what I'm gonna look at. Proximity prompt is right here. Now, if you didn't watch my video on how to hold, hold E doors, I'll talk about it real quick. You can make it clickable, enabled, uh, Xbox. It would be a button X. Hold duration is how how long you wanna hold it. So like zero would just be one time. You just click it one time. And one's like you got to hold it for a bit. And then there's a key card, keyboard E code. So like E is what it is. Activation distance, I leave it at 10. Maybe you can leave it farther if you'd like. Now object text is what it was displaying. So it said uh, action and then it said light fire. Um, you just want to leave it on light fire or light switch. Um, you can leave it blank if you'd like. But when they first approach it, it won't be showing anything. I'm pretty positive. But um, so in the script... There's a few things, okay? It's, it looks may look complicated, but it's kind of easy. Um, if you are wanting to make your own light switch, you're going to be looking at these few things. First of all, I'm you do have a button separated from the other thing, like that has everything in it, because uh, you want to be able to place the proximity prompt anywhere and make it look nice. But um, what we're doing is we're going to script.parent, which is going to be the button. Um, that's going to be local button, and we're going to grab it here, and when it gets the proximity prompt, it's going to toggle it. Well, it's going to be toggled or not, so it's not toggled right now. And it's going to be either light me or extinguish me. This is where you can change from light me to turn me off. This is where you, like, turn off. This is off, and this is on. And this is where it's you can tell. Now, if toggle, then extinguish the fire, so it's going to be like that. So it's going to be putting everything to uh, enable to false, and then lighting the fire will be sending it to true. Now, we're doing false first, then true for next, because it's already in true if you if you know what i'm trying to say um so if you are making your own if you look over here in the properties tab over here you can see that i have a few things um uh everything in here is like the uh, particle emitters and the sound 
Now sound uh, is the same thing with just sound. And what we're doing is we're going script.parent. Dot parent would be this model because it is in a model. Then dot fiery, which is local fiery, is that. So we called the fiery already. So you could just change that name to whatever you want. Um, so light switch, let's say if that was a light switch. And then uh, all you would do is um, put it in here. And uh, let's see here. So local is what we're going to call all of them. And if you're trying to do like multiple light switches in the room, kind of like how I did last time. You would want to do it where like the point light, see how it's point light, and it's just enabled. You're going to leave everything off, by the way. I forgot to say that. So everything in here is off. It's going to be enabled off because we're turning it on in the script. Um, and so what you're doing is calling for it. If you don't know how script.parents work, it's pretty easy. Just script.parent.this. So let's say local. Um, so local, let's just do another one. So local fire 5 equals script dot parent which would be the button dot parent which would be the model we're in the model now dot fiery see how it brings up that so you know you're right so we're, in, we're going to the fire now we're inside fire and then you bring up any of the fires so anything in here is the name and you can find that so it's pretty easy to look at um also names you can just change them right here names properties and what we're doing is we're going to go into the script now you're going to be able to like remove these, do whatever you want, make more, whatever you need to do. And we're going to go just, the, we're going to, we already have them. So it's going to grab it and it's going to already do enabled because that's already a property. And it shouldn't be setting it to false. That's all you're doing. And then sound.playing because it's a sound property is going to be false, of course. And then when we click it again, it's going to be set to true. So it's just copy and paste kind of. I'm, if it's confusing you to make your own, then I'll have to make another tutorial on that. But like, um, I really just wanted to explain it to you guys because it's, it's pretty simple. This one and this one are kind of the same. They are the same, basically. Uh, so, like, let's say this again. We're going to go button, script.parent, and then smoke and everything. And it's going to go script.parent, the part right here. And it's going to look for the particle emitter. And there's already two parts in there, so that's bad. I should have done that. But like we're saying here, Smoking dot enabled equals false. Everything's gonna equal false, then true. So what we're grabbing is in here and everything, and the parts and the particles and everything. So it, it's kind of simple to say. Um, I'll leave a link to proximity prompts in the description. Uh, it's really a beta thing. I'm gonna be making Twitter tutor tutorials on it, like how to like change the text and like change the UI, make it look different, and everything like that. Um, but yeah. There's a lot to it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And feel free to just watch the next video. It's going to be on a start screen again, a new one. It's pretty sick. Um, you'll like it. It's with cameras and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Um, hey, you guys. That's all I got for you guys today. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Good.